Hello students, welcome to Sarasar's classes. In our last videos, we have solved A set Jan 2018 question paper of mathematics, statistics, data interpretation and logical reasoning till question number 65. So let us today start with our question number 67. So our question 67 says in if in a certain code language miracle is coded as n k u e h r l then how is reclaim coded in that same code language so here let us write we have miracle which is coded as n k u e h r l so m is like n i k r u a e c h l r E L. So we need reclaim here. So let us write reclaim. So as you can see here from R we will get to U. So this will be U. From E we have L. So this is L. From C we have H. So this is H. From L we have R. So this is R. From A we have E. So this will be E. And from I we have K. So this is K and last we have from M we have N. So this will be N and this is our answer that is U K U L H R E K N. So let's check the options. So option number E oh no option number A uh, B matches with our answer. Hence answer to this question is option number B. So now let's move on to our next question that is question number 67. One second in our question 66 option not option b but option number c matches with our answer so option c is the correct answer it is matching with our answer hence it is the correct answer so now let's move on to our next question that is question number 67 so question number 67 says arrange the words given below in a meaningful sentence sequence yarn plant sari cotton cloth so we need to arrange these in a meaningful sentence so as you can see these all are a process of making a sari so this is a process we need to follow to make a piece of dress so let's start with our very first process so at the very beginning we need to plant so plant will be our first option and then we get cotton that is our second option then from that we move on to yarn that is our that will be our third option from yarn we will get our cloth and designing the cloth we will finally get our sari so our process will be from two then four then we have one then five then three so let's check the options so option number c matches with our answer hence question 65 67 has answer option number c so now let's move on to next question that is question number 68 so it says which of the following words is an odd one so let's check out the words first word is inch hence this is a unit of length here we have ounce which is a limit of unit of weight centimeter as you all know it's unit of length again and yard is also a unit of length so as you can see we have three units of length and one unit of weight hence ounce is the odd one out hence our answer to this question is option number b so now let's move on to our next question that is question number 67 so question 67 says there are 60 sports person among football cricket basketball 33 of them play football 25 cricket and 26 basketball 10 players 10 players play football and cricket 9 play basketball and cricket while 8 play both football and basketball so from basic formula you can find that so let a be the event for football b be the event for cricket and c be the event for basketball so from this we have the common part in all the three we will get three from the following data given it can easily be found so let us draw the graph for this question so our second will be something like this one 
so one is for football another one is for cricket and the last one is for basketball so let this be like this now we have this is for football this is for cricket and this is for basketball so we have originally found intersection of all the three is three so our this part this small part is three hence let's proceed with the question so football and cricket this intersection this one football and cricket we have been given then 10 players play football and cricket out of which three belongs to the intersection hence we are left with only seven and nine play basketball and cricket so basketball and cricket this part nine players play but we have three in the intersection so we are left with only six in common and eight play football and basketball but we have three in common so we are left with five in this small place and total we have 33 in football where seven and five we have already allotted seven five and three so we are left with 18 similarly here we have left with nine and 12 so this is basically the chart we have now let's check what we need we have how many play only one of the three games so here we have 18 players playing only football here we have nine players playing only cricket and here we have 12 players playing only basketball so we need to sum these up it is 18 plus 9 plus 12 so total will be 39 hence 39 is our answer so option number c is the correct answer so let's move on to the last question of this question paper that is question number 70 so in our question 70 we have in the following question two statements are given followed by four conclusions numbered 1, 2, 3 and 4. You have to take the given statements to be true even if they seem to be a variance from the commonly known facts and then decide which of the following conclusions logically follows from the given statements disregarding commonly known facts. So our statements given here are all terrorists are guilty, all terrorists are criminal. So let us draw the graph here and here we have criminal persons who have done crime so these two are different and can't go together hence our fourth statement is also wrong so from this we can see that only statement two is correct so let's check the options given so in option c we have only two follows so option c is the correct answer to our question so we have solved all the questions from our asset january 2018 question paper